Hello to everyone. In this tutorial, I'll show you the basics of character animation into After Effects without any third party plugins. This video is the first part of a character animation. And in this first part, I will cover rigging, parenting, arranging layers, and animating character's body and hands. So let's get started. All right, guys. So here is our character, which we are going to animate into After Effects. And these are the shape layer. Each shape layer contains each element of this character, like eyes, hand, torso, head, etc. As you can see here, this is an arm shape and this is a hand. So hand should be connected to the arm. All right. First of all, I rename this arm shape layer. Now I parent hand layer to the arm layer. So if I rotate the arm, hand automatically rotate. All right. Now first thing first. So we rename each shape layers and then I'll show you the rigging part of this animation. After renaming the shape layers, we are going to create a null object and rename it to the body controller. Now select the body shape and click on this pick pick tool, drag it to the null object. Now our null object is a parent layer of a body shape. One more thing, your null object should be centered in the body shape, just like this. Now we can start digging or parenting. For that, first of all select that layer which are going to become parent layer and change the color level of it. So you can recognize it later when you animate them. Then select the pick pick tool and drag it on body shape layer. So these parent layers now become a child layer of body shape layer. Let me tell you what this means. If I move a body shape layer, so all the child layers follow the body shape layer. And as you know that this body shape layer is a child of null object. So if I move null object, so body shape layer follow the null. After that, we can hide these layers, which we are not going to move. Now you can understand the concept of parenting. So we are connect rest of layers to body shape layer who belongs to body like hand, or arms and shine of torso and head. These belongs to body. Same way we connect other shapes to head layer who belongs to head like eyes, shine of head and smile. After that you can see if I move null object so other layers follow the null object. If I move the head so other rest of the layers like eyes, smile follow the head layer and if I move a torso so other layers who are child of this parent layer is moving. Now we are going to animate this character back and forth. To do this, I am selecting null object and hit P to open the position value of this null object and I am clicking on the stopwatch to make a keyframe at the first frame. After that, I am moving the time indicator. After that, I am moving the time indicator further in the timeline and change the position of the null object. So the second keyframe automatically generated into our timeline. Check the little preview. Now Select last keyframe and paste it here. Then select first keyframe and paste it to the last keyframe. So it will move in a loop. You can drag the keyframe to adjust the animation or the motion of the character. Then select those handles and change the handles like this. Then checking the preview, looks nice. Then hit S on the keyboard to open the scale value of the null object. Then I'm clicking on the stopwatch to make a keyframe at the first frame. After that, go to the second keyframe and make a one more keyframe here. Then go to the third keyframe and make another keyframe here. Then change the scale values and change it. Then copy first keyframe of the scale and paste it to the last keyframe of the scale. Basically, the start keyframe and the end keyframe should be same to make a loop. After making easy ease, here is a short preview. Now it's time to animate hands of this character. To do this, select the layers of hands, then press R to open rotation values of hands. Then I'm clicking on the stopwatch to make a first keyframe at the first frame. After that, I'm changing the rotation values of hands at the first frame, something like this. One thing is important here that make sure your last keyframe of rotation should be same of first keyframe to make a perfect loop. After making keyframes, here is the final preview. See, this is a perfect loop. 
After that, just select all the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease. It will make your animation more smoother. Now it's time to animate the pink path of our character. To do this, select the pen tool and make a line shape over the path. Make sure it covers the path completely. After that, go to the search bar and type CAB cap and change butt cap to round cap. Then I'm going to click on the add button to add a trim path into the shape layer. Then add a keyframe at the first frame on the end value. Go further in the time and change the value of the end. Then select all the keyframes and press F9 on the keyboard to make a easy stamp. This line gonna be alpha matte or pink path. So this line reveal the path of the character. I am just put this layer about the path shape and change the path matte to alpha matte. Here you can see the shape reveal the path of this character. Alright, this is the first part of a character animation. In the second part of this character animation, I'll show you how to animate eyes and head movements of this character. That's it for now guys. See you in the next video.